My name is Ken Judd. I work in uh, Dr. Paul Kramer's lab. So this video is about a technique that we use called vibrational sum frequency spectroscopy. So VSFS, or vibrational sum frequency spectroscopy, is a second-order nonlinear optical technique. But it's a little bit different than other forms of vibrational spectroscopy, like IR and Raman scattering, in that it only detects molecular vibrations that are in a non center symmetric environment. So the selection rules are where that comes from, where IR selection rules require a change in dipole, Raman requires a change in polarizability, VSFS requires both, which only happens when there is no center symmetry in the vibrations. So what that means is that you're only going to see vibrations where the molecules have some net dipole orientation, which happens typically at interfaces. So on the right side, just showing an example spectrum, the sharp peaks are the methyl stretches from the methyl groups at the top of the surfactant molecules in the monolayer. And then the OH stretch is the signature of the water molecules, but you're only seeing the molecules that are at the interface and that are oriented towards the, the charge at the interface.